foreign occupation of the city of Los Angeles and possibly elsewhere. Um, it is ultimately about um, people, uh, about lives being turned upside down and terrorized and what would you do and how would you react and uh, if your family was torn apart and there was a force stronger than anything you can possibly conceive of, basically keeping your life down, keeping it something that you don't want it to be. Um, how do you make the right choices of, you know, morally? Do you choose to save your family? Do you choose to, um, to comply with the occupying force? Are you part of the occupation? Are you part of the resistance? These things play out on a meta level, but it's all very human in that, in a way, on a smaller level, we make these decisions What's the right choice to make? Where how am I making? Am I being good here? Or am I being bad? We make that every day. We go to the grocery store, um, and uh, I play a bad guy, or at least we think he's a bad guy. Um, I'm part of the occupation. Found myself, probably much to my surprise, in a position to make some choices that would allow me to stay above the fray and have power and take advantage of others. And uh, he made those choices and. Um, is wielding that power when the show opens, and I uh, don't know exactly where we'll go after that. What's his name? Well, his name is Alan Snyder. Uh, he is referred to as the proxy governor of the Los Angeles block. Heavy title, then. It is heavy title. But I think I wear that title well. And what attracted you to such a role? Um, well, as written, it looked like, uh, here's a bad guy, a tough guy. You know, you know, I wouldn't say typical, but, you know, sort of fastball down the middle, you know, here's a guy who is in charge and mean and gruff and uh, he knows how to stay in control. And that's not me at all. Um, and so as we began the dance, the audition dance, where I did for them and they, their ears kind of pricked up and they said, well, that's an interesting take. I think that what, what then made me really excited to do it was this is a little bit of a backdoor take on a more standard character that um, here's a guy who we don't really know where he came from and he might actually be more normal which fits right into which is really what they were writing which fits right into the theme which is that these are were just what would you do you're on your way to the grocery store and next thing you know you know your life is turned upside down and how do you respond? Are you going to um, make the right choices or the wrong choices? Well, what was the pitch that got you excited about the show? Um, Carlton Cuse. <laughs> in two words. You were sold in two words. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, come on. It's, he's awesome. His shows are great. The, I mean, Ryan is a fabulous writer. They've obviously come, come up with a great thing. I mean, you know, sometimes when I've said, I've told people what it's about, and they go, well, is that sort of something we've seen? And it really isn't. I mean, it's really meted out slowly. This is not about special effects. This is not about explosions and battles and the takeover and destruction. That will happen and be part of it. But this is really about the people and the family. And um, it's, about, it's really a character-driven show. And, uh, the other dangerous stuff is there. Uh, but because it's really, you're seeing through these characters, it uh, makes everything much more dangerous, I think, than seeing explosions and seeing, the, you know, seeing the terror. And feel, how did your feel the character get involved with Josh Holloway and Sarah Wayne Kelly's characters? Were you seeing um, because I'm part of the occupation, really in charge, um, we do know through our intelligence that Josh's character, Will, is not really just a sort of a small time mechanic in Hollywood. He was, he's gone underground, he was a spy. He was, he worked for the government and was, is something that we could use. So our intention is to pull him out and put him in a position where he has to choose to work for us to try to undermine the resistance. And uh, so it's a critical point. Did they, did they give you any background on your character before the invasion? Uh, no, just that we don't really, you know, he might, he's not some, you know, obvious fastball down the middle bad guy that he was, you know, found himself in this position. Um, and that's 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 a great juicy thing to jump into as an actor. So that was the main thing I knew.